Hi, this is Tim. Everyone knows me on t-shirt forums as Mentinkism. Um, I was browsing t-shirt forums about, I don't know, three weeks ago looking for some color separation stuff and realized um, there's no real solid information. There's no how-tos, there's no anything along those lines. Um, so I thought I'd take some time, um, teach you guys how to do it. I just learned myself. I posted probably three weeks ago um, that I I have all my designs done, but I need them spot color separated for screen printing. And I mean, you know, the responses were there. I mean, people tried to help, but again, it's hard to explain something like this. So I uh, thought I'd give you guys a video tutorial on it. Um, just to give you a quick look, um, Fast Films is considered the quote unquote leading um, spot color separation software. Um, for a single user, it's $995. Um, I downloaded their demo. They have a trial, free trial. I downloaded that and it confused me. I've been in graphic design for about seven years and I've never seen anything so confusing. I've, I had no idea what was going on. Not to mention that, you know, if you're doing it yourself, you can see little errors, you can fix little things. Um, if you let a uh, software like Fast Films or um, Union Inc. has software out right now, um, if you let them do it, it's just going to run through all these processes and you're going to miss stuff and stuff's going to get messed up. So, thought I'd take you guys through stuff. Let me close this. I was just doing it there <laughs> just to make sure everything was going smooth. Um, I made a file just for this project just to show you guys. Um, say this is a t-shirt. Okay, I got colors overlapping colors. I mean, if if you're no open in a normal PSD, you're gonna have colors overlap overlapping colors. You're gonna have um, you know, um, <coughs> pretty much just one big clumble of ink. I mean, it's not gonna work very well. Um, and you don't want to print ink over ink. It'll change your ink colors. I mean, <laughs> I had this problem. I don't know how many times, and I was quoted actually. Four thousand eight hundred fifty-nine dollars. I have um, twenty designs, and they wanted four thousand nine hundred some odd dollars to to do it. And uh, <laughs> I figured I'd spend four thousand nine hundred and some odd dollars of my time figuring out how to do it myself. <laughs> so I've done that, and I want to share that with you guys. Um, T-shirt forms have has given me a lot of good information. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to try and give a little back. So. Um, what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to, right here, this is my image, okay? You're going to be at the layer screen, this is how you're going to open your image, okay? If your image is not flat, you're going to want to flatten it, okay? A lot of places will tell you you need to go to image mode, you need to change it to CMYK, you don't need to do any of that, <laughs> just leave it the way it is. Um, you change CMYK, a lot of your colors are going to change because it's a different color palette, so just leave it the way it is. Um, what I would do is... On this design, I picked black, red, blue, and green because they're opposites. I mean, you know as well as I do, these colors don't matter. The, what, what matters is what colors you put on your screen, what inks you throw on your screen. That's what's going to print. Okay, so these colors, I just picked separate colors. That way I knew what was going on. This is a four-color t-shirt. Um, what I'm going to do is you're going to go to channels, okay, and you're going to get out your magic wand tool. It's right here. Um, you're going to unclick continuous. Okay, Continuous means that if I clicked on this image right here, then it would only work with that image. But now that I unclick continuous, I can click on, like for example, let's do green first. I click on green, it's going to highlight all the green. It's going to highlight my green text, it's going to highlight my green image. Okay, And then I'm going to go select and inverse. Okay, Because I want all around the image. I don't necessarily want the image itself. Okay, Then you go down here to this little thing over here little button and it says save selection as a channel and it's that simple click that button and there you go alright we're gonna do it for all the colors so let's do the blue next boom there's blue select inverse bam oh my bad <laughs> alright bam there you go <laughs> click the wrong button there got in a little bit of a hurry Okay, and the good thing about this is you're not messing with your actual design. This is a flattened image. This is something totally separate from your actual PSD design. Okay, um, if you mess up on this, start over. If you if you 
mess up a layer, delete a layer. It, I mean, this is something that's not going to take away from your actual design. If you mess this up, pull out your original and make a copy of it. Okay. Now, next we'll do red. You're going to highlight the red. You're going to go to select inverse. And then, boom. And it's that simple. I mean, these people are charging so much money. You're, you're looking at me. This is going to... If if I just worked on this, this would take what a, a uh, combination of an hour, uh, a minute, two minutes maybe. Okay, and then you go to select inverse, boom, and it's that simple. All right, now I just want to show you guys. Okay, boom. See my spot colors here. It, this one shows the best. Look, none of my colors are going over. See what I'm saying? If you look at the red, all my colors are separate. Nothing's going over another color. It's all separate. It's all by itself. Now, I don't like using Magic Wand. I know a lot of you guys are probably the same way, just because I don't think it's very accurate. But in this case, in this sense, it is very accurate. This is a 300 DPI image. Okay, that's mostly, that's pretty much the standard right now. This is a 12 by 16 screen, 300 DPI image. Okay, if I zoom in, well, we'll just go to actual pixels. Look at the quality. I'm not losing out on any quality. That's exactly what I need to print it. Exactly. Okay. Now, to give you an idea, now that I click this, and say I was to highlight them both, that gives you a little little insight on what's going on. All right. See, everything's the same. Look right here. Focus right here. Everything is the exact same and lines up perfectly. Okay. And that's exactly what we needed. Okay. And I just wanted to give you guys a lowdown. I mean, show you guys how easy it can actually be. Um, it's not worth the nine hundred dollars. It's not worth the uh, you know the five thousand or so you're quoted. I mean, this is stuff you can do by yourself. There's no reason you should be outsourcing this sort of thing. Um, so I just wanted to kind of give back to the T-shirt forums community. Um, there's a lot of good information on there. Keep active, keep posting, and keep helping other people out. Thanks, I hope this tutorial was, was a help.